that little jingle means I time do. for a special <laughs> Thursday edition of Made in Tampa Bay. And today, we're going a little old school on you, taking a look at some lost art that isn't so lost anymore. Photojournalist Corey Beckman introduces us to the world of hand painted signs with Sun Signs St. Pete. I had to say that. Good somewhere. job. <laughs> I feel a bit like a keeper of the craft in a way that I'm, I'm referencing what's come before me and trying to bring that forward. The name of the business is Sunshine St. Pete. We're a hand-painted sign company specializing in storefronts, glass painting, doors, murals, logos. And we try to keep things pretty classic as a sign shop would have been run in the 1950s. Sign painting sort of took a halt um, in the 1980s when vinyl plotters came out, sort of wiped away the industry. And since then, in the 90s and into the 2000s, there's been quite a resurgence. There's not as many sign painters these days anymore, and I'd say that's probably because there's, there's no more schools for it or traditional apprenticeships as there were in the past. I'm trying to honor the men and women who, who are somewhat nameless, you know. We don't, we don't know who they were. This wasn't a, a glorified trade. This was a very blue-collar job. I think when people really want to showcase that they're doing something special and that the work and product that they're providing is quality, they want their sign to reflect that. It gives it a little bit more of a personal feel and a little bit more of the human touch and a character. And you can, you can sort of put a little bit more of a face to the name. And when it comes to lettering, anyone can see when it's done poorly. So, so you, we really want to do things by the book and, and make sure that they're done properly if we're going to be representing someone's business. I had to paint for years countless alphabets um, that, no, that never saw the light of day. No one ever saw them. And at the time, I would paint on glass so I could easily scratch it off without having to waste a bunch of paper and create too much of a mess. Before I knew it, I had a couple jobs and and I kept telling myself, I'll get a real job once these gigs die down. And I've been full-time for five years now. I feel extremely blessed to be able to get to do what I love to do every single day and, and to benefit businesses directly. I'm very grateful to be where I am now, um, and I'm excited for what's to come. That takes patience and precision. <laughs> to see more of Jeff's work or to reach out to him for a possible job, go to sunsignsstpete.com.